In CapCut, it's now possible to make a complete AI clone of yourself, one that looks like you and talks like you, your very own avatar. So let's, uh, let's see if it works. The first thing you need to do is add some text into the timeline. So it's gonna grab this default text and I've got some words I prepared. I'm just gonna paste into here. And now that we've got the text here, we have access to these AI characters. And here's the new one called Customize. We click on Customize and we see that here in the USA, it's $29 to create a character and then $29 a month to keep using the character. So I didn't do it yet because I wanted to show you the whole process. So I'm going to buy one character. We're going to authenticate with my finger and yeah, okay, here, here it goes. Spending the big money so you guys don't have to, or maybe you're gonna want to. All right, I guess I just click on customize now since I just paid for it. So here we've got a video that tells me the requirements for the video I need to upload so they can create a character that looks like me. What does that video need to look like? Got text instructions here. Glancing through the instructions, they want you to be against a plain background so it's easy to cut you out. You wanna make sure that your colors contrast the background. They want you to record at least two and a half minutes, maybe a little more. You want to use three-point lighting or basically good lighting so you're not using overhead lights or backlights so it's super easy to see you without a bunch of junk in the background like shadows. And they wanna make sure your face is in the frame, you're staring at the camera, and you need to read out loud for at least 90 seconds and pause after each sentence because the character will look and sound like you. It's been a day. It's been a few hours of me trying to figure out how to make this work. I found, I found a little issue. So when you are in CapCut and you click on this customize thing and it asks you to drag and drop your video, you've got the parameters here. It's got to be at least two and a half minutes long. It should be 720p HD is probably okay also or 4K. But one thing that they didn't tell you is that 24 FPS does not work. I was trying a bunch of things and couldn't figure out the reason that stuff was not working. In fact, this is what it looks like when it doesn't work, as you can see. So here's one that is not 24 frames a second. And it says the video should be two and a half, 10 minutes long. It's saying it's the wrong duration in that case. But if you have one that is the right duration, like this one, it says the video quality is too low. And by that they mean they don't want 24 frames a second. So record it in at least 30 frames a second. And then when you have done that, you can take your video. By the way, my video looks like, I'm gonna show you real quick before you see. Now notice that I recorded against a green screen because that's a plain background. This should work okay. I'm trying to make it easy for their AI to cut it out. They should be able to figure out that this stuff goes away as well. You can just record against a plain white wall and it should work equally well. Just don't wear white clothing. So let's go back over here, click on the text in the timeline, click on AI characters, click on customize. Remember we already paid for it. And I'm gonna click this to get my video and it's gonna be this one that's at 29.97, which is 30 frames a second. So, and notice how many takes it took me to get there. I did for you, but I'm not showing you them because that would just be boring. So I click open and now it's processing my video. Oh, I better click on this guy too. Processing my video, I can hit play. And there's me and I'm gonna hit next. And now on this screen, this is my first time on this screen, they want me to drop a video here saying that I give my consent. So uh, I'm just gonna do that live like this just just for fun on my phone and here's a tip always clean your lens my name is trevor jones i hereby agree to authorize CapCut to use this video to generate a customized ai character and ai synthesized voice i further agree to be responsible for the video i provide and any content and activities generated by using this feature see things things don't have to take too long i'm just gonna do this and do this it's in my downloads and it's this one right here and it's short it needs to be probably under a gig i'm gonna submit it and now what happens it's uploading my video file which is under a gig because if it's over a gig it's not gonna work either notice that it's gonna be ready in an hour and don't close cap cut while you're exporting and i've got one shot to recustomize it if it didn't turn out well i got a chance so let's Let's see. Now I'm gonna let this finish uploading. Wait an hour and I'll get back to you and show you if we can create a character that looks and sounds exactly like me. Can you can you recreate me? Is that is that possible? So I'm gonna take about 90 minutes and do that right now, but for you, it'll be in an instant. Two thousand years later. It's been an hour, so let's see if that character worked and if it's usable. I'm I'm anxious to see too. So remember you don't need any media imported into CapCut. You just need text down here. Once you have text down here, I've typed some stuff out. You just go to AI characters and there's the clone of me. And first surprise, I expected it to be cut out like these so I could put it over any background. They don't cut it out. So I'm just going to click this character 
and hit add, it's going to generate the speech and generate my motion. And if I want that to be on a different background, I have to cut it out. So let's let it apply for a second. It's, it's making all this stuff, it's 12 seconds. This is kind of amazing. It's gonna have, I mean, hopefully it's amazing, me talking. But even before I see me talk, I'm just gonna get rid of the background real quick. All right. I'm not even going to let you listen to me yet. I'm just going to count out the background. And because I am on a plain green background, let's just go ahead and go to... Oh, look at this. You can't cut out the background because it's a character. Do you know what to do? What would I do? I don't have the option. I click off it. I click on it. Usually you can go to video, cut out, but it's not there. Do you know what you do? Here's what you do. You right click and you choose create compound clip. And now it's just a video. And I can click on cut out and choose auto cut out. And it will cut me out. And then I can just... Add a, add a background that's a little better. And do we need this text anymore? Once I've set all the text, no, we don't use it. I could use it to make subtitles or captions, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna delete the text. So now I'm on a plain background. So let's go ahead and choose a background real quick. I'll just go into library and click on background. And we'll look for something that's kind of cool and long enough. I guess I could be in outer space. It's a pro one, whatever. There's lots of free ones. I'm just gonna click that to download it. And I'm just going to drag it underneath me. And look at that. It's exactly the right duration magically. And I'm gonna color correct me a little bit because I feel like I should be a little more vibrant. So I'm just going to click on me and go to adjustment. And I'm just gonna go, well, the one I like to use often really easily is curves. Um, I'm just going to adjust it a tiny bit to get me a little more contrast. You like that? I'm gonna drag the darks down a little bit, drag the whites up a tiny bit, that little S curve. I think that looks a little bit better. And that's me on a funky background. Before I play this, like, are you happy with your YouTube channel and, and where it's at now and the views and subs? Because if you're not, I can help you. I can teach you to edit with my course, Edit with Trevin Master Cap Cut. Plus I show you just the 10 steps you gotta take with every video. So you just do them, get more views, you get more subscribers like every single time. If you don't, don't like for a reason, I just give you your money back. It's it's embarrassingly cheap. So check it out, link in the description or go to mastercapcut.com. And now let's see how Trevor looks as an AI character. In the latest version of CapCut, you can create a talking AI clone of yourself as in it looks and sounds like you. In fact, this isn't me. This is AI Trevor and I didn't think it was possible, but now I'm even better looking. I wish they had a feature to add more hair though.